Hi everyone, this is my mom's Chinese recipes and today we will be making a simplified version of the classic Chinese banquet dinner, lobster, using frozen lobster tails from Costco. We're going to cut the lobster in half as so. This dish is easy for home cooks who don't want to handle live lobsters. In fact, because they were so fresh when they were frozen, this dish tastes almost as good as when you make it with live lobsters. You don't need to marinate this dish either because lobster meat is naturally salty and we actually want to preserve the sweet seafood taste. All we have to do is to cover it in any sort of starch, such as cornstarch. Once it's fully coated, we're going to let it sit for a couple of minutes to absorb any excess liquid. This is key in preventing oil splashes during the next frying stage. We want the oil temperature to be at at least 170 degrees Celsius. The high heat will allow a crust to form around the lobster, which will keep it nice and juicy, and it will also prevent it from splashing. Fry on medium high heat for one to one and a half minutes. Don't crowd the pot with too many pieces, otherwise the temperature will drop. Once the shell will turn red like this and separate from the meat, you know that the lobster is fully cooked. Now we will make the sweet and sour sauce, which is a combination of sugar, white vinegar, white pepper, salt, cornstarch, and water. In a hot wok, put in a little bit of oil and baste sliced ginger and the white parts of scallion. Once that's fragrant, you're going to add in a hand of whole of green onion tops. Add in the fried lobster. Mix and toss in the liquid mixture. The cornstarch will help the sauce thicken very quickly and coat the lobster. The sweet and sour sauce goes great with this dish and the deep fried lobster is flavorful and juicy. This is a really cool recipe to try out for your next family gathering. Hope you'll give this a try and we'll see you next time.